Well, this clearly isn't Bryant Denny Stadium, but it'll work right. What a view of downtown Birmingham, and folks, it gets even better. I found an AM party. We're going to show you what's going on up here. You know, the 12th man always travels to road games, and they are out in full force tonight, getting ready for the big game tomorrow. Speaking of that, let's talk about what it's going to take for the Aggies to pull off the upset over number one Alabama for the second straight year. Number one AM quarterback Haynes King needs to outplay Alabama backup QB Jalen Milrow, who will be filling in for the injured and 2021 Heisman Trophy winner Bryce Young. And that means taking care of the football, whether it's his fault or not, King has thrown seven interceptions and four appearances for the Aggies. And here's the big key is too. When the game-changing plays are there to be made on offense, defense, or special teams, AM has to capitalize. And the victory over the Crimson Tide last year, of course, quarterback Zach Calzada was money, but Devon A. Chain returned that kickoff for a touchdown, and Damani Richardson came away with an INT in the end zone. Big time plays. Coming off a loss to Mississippi State, well, you know what happened, a drop touchdown pass. Also, Antonio Ritt, uh, Johnson dropped an interception, plus two fumbles in the red zone that cost AM last week against Mississippi State. Yes, they're three and two on the year, disappointing, but head coach Jimbo Fisher and company, they think they can keep this game competitive and better execution is key. Confidence is what allows you to play well. And that, and you practice well, then you have confidence and you play well. And then you make a few plays in the game. Like I say, if we happen to get those picks or happen to make that catch or not fumble, and all of a sudden your whole persona changes based off one or two plays and, and how you do things. That's just the game. That's any game. When the plays are there, relax, be fundamentally sound, put your nose on the ball when you catch it or put your hands where you got to be when you block it or when you're going to intercept it, make sure you're in the right position or whatever it is and just do it. That's the only part that I feel like we're lacking right now, just the execution part. And once we get to execute, I feel like we're still the top, one of the top teams in the country. I kind of um, was talking to the guys earlier about the Mizzou and Georgia game, you know, you never know what, what you're going to get from a team in SEC, so you just got to go out there and play your best game each week, and, you know, and just, you know, execute. As well, if the Aggies want to try and shock the nation for the second straight year, and then it goes without saying the offense has to find a rhythm and some consistency. There are over 100 teams in the nation better than A&M in total offense, passing offense, and scoring offense. But you saw it last year at Kyle Field, perhaps lightning can strike twice, but of course the 12th man, eh, not quite over 107,000 strong, gonna be inside Bryant-Denny Stadium. Tonight at 10 o'clock, we talk Fisher versus Saban. Can he do it again and take down his former boss? For now, reporting live in Birmingham with the Aggies in Alabama, Justin Woodard, KAG Sports.